بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Dear viewers, welcome to Youth Hour. My name is Isaacuddin and today's topic is good neighbors. And the reason we pick good neighbors is um, I have expertise in our, in our show, so we will discuss the positive and negative and how do we go forward together, inshallah. You know, I won't make uh, uh, late any walk because I'm excited myself. So let me introduce our guest first. Uh, on my far right, um, David James, welcome to our show, sir. <coughs> How are you feeling today? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Oh, great. I thought you'd say I'm nervous, but he's oh, not. Okay. I'm great. <coughs> and then we have um, Robin Marsh from oh, Universal you. Peace Federation. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our show. I'm very, very honoured. Fantastic. You. How do you feel? I feel good. How do, what yeah. do you think about the topic yourself? It's a very good topic and it's a very important topic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really grateful you guys made time for us. Mm. And on my left, um, Sheikh Ramzi, Imam of Oxford University. Uh, shall I s move on to... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, you know, <laughs> alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, bring peace to all home, to communities, to friends and to, to the neighbours. Fantastic. Uh, Sheikh, I'll come to you first. Yes. As a Muslims mm -hmm. in, in the UK, and um, we feel very proud. You know, no. I would really feel proud to be in the UK citizen and myself. Of course. Mm. And they also, you'll get some reports from the papers and the media. It's like we're not communicating well with our neighbours. And um, in some cases it's true. <coughs> so why uh, do you think it's, it's like that? Um, perhaps, of course, uh, uh, Allah knows. First I have to say Allah knows, of course. Uh, perhaps we have, we have our traditions. Sometimes we have our tradition, which you think uh, the, our tradition may not... Uh, uh, be compatible with their tradition. Some, some are, some are, for example, some are shy. Some are Muslim are shy. Some, some say if I, if I bring my hand to our there or I say good morning, are they going to answer back? Mm. But however, we need as the imams and and, and as the leaders uh, uh, and as, uh, imams as mosques and uh, universities and and uh, and the Islamic centers, uh, we need to we need to help to integrate and uh, say no, talk to them. To so just say good morning, just say salam. If you even say salam, they say, mm. "What you said, good morning." They will because they understand all. All of course, I'm talking about the uh, the people who are not Muslim. Just say salam, salam to your neighbor, salam to your friend, and even. Even when you come, <coughs> many times, uh, I should know, of course, I don't know how much of time I have to say. When I'm in underground, I, am, I can see my face is to the face of somebody. It's just like that. All they are so close together. Nobody looking at each other. Nobody. When I said, I, I remember some time ago, I said, uh, hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. And it says, somebody says, it's not the morning, it's an evening. I said, that's it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> okay. And God bless you all. And all started to smile at each other and say hello. All start to smile because it is, a, I, I don't know, maybe the society is like this. When she, you just, just in the middle of the whole the, uh, uh, crowd, you are completely alone. And this is against the ethos of Islam. And Islam teaches how to, how to care for everybody, how to care for elderly, how to care for friends, how to care for neighbors, how to care for children, how to care for the animals. And the Islam will, will say that, inshallah, we talk about it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Robin, uh, do you feel like we have a generational gap? So when I was in the 80s, when I came in this mm. country, actually, mm. you will get hello in the morning, oh, hi, and stuff like that. Mm. It's not that anymore. We feel it's just like we mm. are becoming divided, or we're not saying hello to each other, even the younger to the older, and all to the young. Do you think we are in that position of that we, are, we don't have a role model anymore? <coughs> I think the, the British, British people, uh, you can't just characterize from, from London, because there, there are different societies. There's... <laughs> Uh, the rural, more countryside, the smaller towns, they have a lot more time for each other. Uh, in London, it's <coughs> very jam-packed, and, and there's uh, a lot of people from many different backgrounds, and, and uh, there's a lot, a lot to learn from each other, but it's, it takes time for people to, to relate more deeply. Uh, I've, I found myself, British character is a little reserved, 
but I, in time, it breaks through. When, when my parents moved to the countryside, it took eight or nine years before their neighbors and the, <coughs> the community warmed to them and started inviting them to their houses. And that, that's a very uh, mostly uh, white kind of community, but it is, UK is like that and the English <coughs> character is like that. But I think underlying, it hasn't changed. I don't think it's changed so much. I mean, you guys are example because you are uh, working towards unity. You are mm. working for peace. Mm. You know, you guys are example to our younger people who are watching now, mm. because what they s see, what we do, and actually they will copy because mm. you, you, you will they will see it and they think, oh, I could do that. You know, that's cool. So mm. I'm going to go to James. He's looking at me. He is my neighbour mm. actually. Mm. In the <coughs> James, do you think is there any issue of um, we don't say hello in the morning or salam or whatever uh, uh, greetings we don't share anymore? I don't know about whether things have actually changed or not, like just as Robin was saying, but I, I think there are those issues and I think there's a, a lot of reasons behind it perhaps. I think sometimes there's fear of either when, especially when there's uh, within a community different cultures of a fear of um, saying something wrong to a different culture or upsetting them. You know, uh, lots of our neighbours would love mm. to invite other neighbours into their homes, but they're worried about, oh, once if I serve them the wrong food or say the wrong thing. So I think there's that desire often, but there's a bigger fear of perhaps doing the wrong thing. And like uh, Sheikh Ramsey was saying, of just of getting past that, just saying hello and starting to break that down. And in the block that I live in, I, I often see that. Our neighbours, as soon as they start talking, then it very quickly disappears. And I think the, the generational difference as well of trying to reclaim some of the, the communal spaces that we live in. There's, um, in the block we live in, there's a sort of a small park in front of us, trying to reclaim that for... Mm for all the generations of having mm. sort of playing down there with our young children and then often when I'm down there with my children some other fathers come down and, be, and conversations start to happen between different generations mm. just because the spaces are being used for the community and for uh, different sectors of society and it's just so trying to reclaim some of those places in our communities and our societies back for what they originally intended. Do you find it difficult when you moved in near Watchup or do you find it difficult to communicate with people, your neighbours? I don't think it's difficult. I think it took um, persistence. I think we moved into our block mm. with a desire to really meet, meet mm. our neighbours and so going around and introducing ourselves. Um, in, our, in our block at the moment, there's quite a few sort of <coughs> uh, younger sort of 20s, 30s people from lots of different nations around the earth. And the problem is that they tend to be in our block for a much shorter time, maybe six months a year before they go move somewhere else or you know, get mm. a different job. Whereas a previous block that we lived in, which was mostly uh, Bangladeshi families, who had been there 10, 15 plus years. And in that block, there was a much greater sense of community, of looking after each other, because people knew each other. So I think in, in the area I live, sort of in, in Whitechapel, there, there is that sort of change of society as well, where, where people don't have the time, perhaps, to get to know each other, That's because right. they're just not living <coughs> along right. in, mm -hmm. in the way perhaps mm -hmm. previously people were, were based somewhere for a, a much longer mm -hmm. period of time together. Brilliant. Perhaps is it perhaps is a time as well, uh, James is a very important because everybody is as working at the moment, yeah. especially Sunday. Sundays working double. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Christian mm. used to used to have go there, you know, mm. uh, be uh, you know every, everywhere was closed and uh, going mm. to the going to the uh, uh, churches mm. yeah. with the cl lovely clothes, going to churches and going after that to the to the park and they see each other and they talk. Mm. At the moment, it's just unfortunately mm. to how to make a money, yeah. which mm. is wrong, and how to how to. Just just uh, just uh, be be um, uh, luxuries, yeah. and of course uh, you have you have your phone. You have your phone. I'll always you walk in many times. They be, people say say don't walk with the phone. There maybe is accident in front of you. It's mm. a very important. Just with the phone, and mm. all our friends in just is in the phone. Hello, how are you? But if we if we are standing with the, even a crowd, we are all doing that, mm. that <laughs> with the other one, but we don't say hello to mm. each other. Yeah. And this is not a, this is not right. Mm. We need to. We need to if we really want to <coughs> care for each other. Mm. <coughs> if we want to, for example, if we want to the Islamophobia goes or anti-Semitism goes or, or though every phobia which we have mm. from each other, <coughs> from the tradition, from the custom, from the thing, goes away, we just need to say, Hello to each other. Good morning. As 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 an imam, and of course as a as a, I'm, I'm a Muslim missionary, <coughs> I go all. I stay in middle of the street. I go everywhere, and I talk. And the people when they mm. come and talk, and they really they if they are going the other side of the road, they change their way to come and say hello, yeah. because they know they get to some some smile. Mm. And this mm. is important. Just the one smile, 
One is smile <coughs> make, a, make a lot of difference. Yeah. Therefore, what we need to do, not just put your head down, not just go there, just say, if you are, give it a try. When you are in the, I'm sure you, uh, all of you is in the underground, just say, hello all, and God bless you all. See how many, how many smiles come in their faces. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. And this is the, this is the way to do And of course, again, the Islam is the way which it shows. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not proselytizing for Islam or the mission, but the Islam says this one. Mm -hmm. He says, you have to look after your friends. You have to look after your neighbors. And even 40 neighbors there, for, these are compulsory from the, from the Holy Quran, which Almighty God says, Almighty God says, you have to look after your neighbors. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, insisted, you have to look after 40 neighbors this side. 40 neighbors this side, maybe 40 up, up because going down, and 40 down, or what? You have to look. That means if you look at the 40, 40, 40, that means you have to be with your responsible in your community to love your community. Doesn't matter who is there, doesn't matter Christian, doesn't matter Muslim, doesn't matter Jew, doesn't matter non believer. Even look after a non believer, all, Almighty God says. And the, if your neighbor, even is a non believer, is better you go and give him a, a little bit of food. Hello, how are you? And you believe me. At least, if you don't want to believe, he respects what you are. Does not look at you as a, oh, is he my enemy? Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's increased actually. People are doing that nowadays, mashallah. That's, right. That's a good thing, especially in Eid time, in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. We share our mm -hmm. food with everybody else. But this is the article of faith of two faith. Oh, almost all faith actually, your, your neighbors mm. are your mm. Mm. Uh, friends, you know, right. look after your neighbors. Mm. You know, so even in Islam as well, you, are, you have to, you've got no choice. If you're not doing it, that means you are not part of the Ummah. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. And if, you, if, you have your f f if your belly is full and your neighbors don't mm. have food, actually if you claim you're Muslim, you are mm. not claiming the right thing mm. actually. Even uh, <coughs> you know, our friends, uh, James would say, uh, in Christianity, it's an article of faith, looking yeah. after your neighbors. Yeah. Mm. But why is it going down? Is that because of the, uh, like the Sheikh said, you know, we are uh, into the different thing anymore? I, I think there's an, an element of that. I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert in it, but I, I think, uh, as Sheikh was saying, you know, you see people on their phones on the train and through Facebook or other social media, you get, you get to choose the people that you are either listening to or friends with. So it's very easy to start to surround yourself with people that just think the same way as you. And so then your beliefs can then be backed up by people that share that same belief. So then it's easy to, to fall into the trap of, of not being challenged, not discussing people from different beliefs or different backgrounds. And so I, th I think that's the problem. That's the challenge of if you do get to know your neighbours, you, you don't get to choose your neighbours. So if someone ha is from mm -hmm. a different faith background, if someone has different political views, you're, you're forced to... <coughs> To, mm. to meet with them, to eat with them. Whereas if your life is, is focused on social media, then this is the problem where, you know, th some of the problems that we have in our society today is because people become isolated in their beliefs and start to believe that anything outside of that small circle is either wrong or, you know, needs to be changed. Mm. And so I think there is that, that element of this generation that faces a challenge to actually put themselves out there and to, to, to you know, yes. to mix. I think we think have to yeah. take take our opportunities as well. I, I have a very nice story from my, well, my mum and dad, they're in the late 80s. My dad was often going to the hospital and there was one taxi driver in Stoke-on-Trent who's, who's originally from Pakistan. And he took such good care of my mum and dad. <coughs> he even invited them to his house and gave them food. He took such good care of them and constantly was calling and asking how they were and that my my mum's opinion of of multicultural Britain is is quite different because she's very used to white countryside, and she doesn't have so much experience. But this changed her mind. Yes. Just this one experience mm. could could change her mind. So it's possible if we yeah. we take the opportunities yeah. that we have. Can I ask Mr. Robin something? Yes. How can we become a role model to our kids? Because kids, what they're seeing us, mm. you know, mm. we're not doing this thing. I haven't seen my dad doing that. I always see my dad just going out and coming home and doesn't say hello to anyone. He doesn't bring his neighbors or friends from different uh, faith or different color in my house. Mm. <coughs> and they're learning that negative things mm. is against our, all faith actually, mm. almost. So how, why do you think we took that route? Almost, almost everybody, I mean, majority of them. Mm. Personally, I think it just takes time. We have to make efforts and it takes time. So to, to see people playing a role in society, 
to see many Muslim police, to send many mm. people, police from different backgrounds, to see many civil servants from different backgrounds, to, to see school teachers raising and teaching your own children and ch seeing their sincerity. So it just takes time and effort and persistence. Great. Can I ask you something yes. harsh? Because we will find some um, imams or some uh, they will say, no, you don't, don't mix too much or you change your style, you <coughs> leave, leave your deen. I mean, that's very wrong way to approach because it's not, it's not Islamic. He probably uh, has his own culture. He probably learned something from it. You're us. absolutely right. Of course, we have, we have, we have, we have uh, some, uh, we have a few, few of the scholars which, which say this is wrong and stick to it. Of course, we have to uh, always, we have to, we should not go uh, out of boundary of the Islam. Of but however, however, the Islam encouraged to go and talk. Islam encouraged to go and talk to the non-believers, uh, encouraged to uh, talk to the Jews, Muslim, Christian, and be brothers. In the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we had, of course, we had a, we had a uh, um, um, uh, first charter of the Medina Charter, which, which all the Muslim and non-Muslim Jews, Christian, but living together in peace. And here we should do exactly the same. And, and it is um, the people, the, the scholar, again, again, I said, as an as a, a imam and a scholar, of course, the people who, who discourage, discourage the young people not to go and talk to each other, uh, talk to the others, they are wrong. They are totally wrong. And, and I can prove it, of course. However, what we need to do, we, if we leave, as a, um, as a prophet, peace be upon him, says, look after your neighbor, 40 this way, 40 this way. That means we look after your community. Mm -hmm. It does, did not say, the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, did not, did not say, if uh, your neighbor is a Jew, don't look at him. Or if your neighbor is old, don't go and, go and help him. This is very important. What we have, of course, uh, again, Islam, Islam shows, uh, Almighty God uh, says, uh, you, look after, uh, you look after neighbor near and neighbor, neighbor far. Therefore, uh, the, the, right of the, the right of the neighbor uh, in Islam is very important. The right of neighbor, we got a three kind of, three type of neighbor. The neighbors, which is a Muslim, and, and the neighbor, and, and, uh, and, and uh, one of the family. He's got a three rights. The neighbor is a, neighbor is a non-Muslim, but uh, 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 the neighbor is a, 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 a Muslim, and, and uh, your neighbor, that's a two, and the neighbor is a, which is a non-Muslim, and just a neighbor, there are three. Th these three, we have to help, of course, uh, all of them. What we need to do, what we need to do, we have to be sharing our thoughts, sharing our, our culture, and uh, to, uh, which they understand. And the important thing is in here, what we have in the community at the moment, which the Muslim at the moment doing it, we have many, many, many uh, homeless. Yeah, very young homeless. I, I can see. I can see many of them very intelligent. When I'm in the street, very intelligent. I can see they are begging or they are, they are less fortunate than us, and nobody looking at them. Nobody. Look. These are our brothers. Doesn't matter what they are. Our friends. They need to be fed. They need to be sheltered. These are very important. As as my brother is a Muslim, he's a, he's 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 a humanitarian. We have totally. We have to help them. We have to. Uh, if we can find a job, if we can find a shelter, if we can feed them. And Muslim at the moment, they're doing that. Uh, absolute Christianity, Christian, of course, on many churches doing, doing this for these less fortunate people. These are our neighbors. It's not a just a neighbor next door to you, next door to you, which you got, a, for example, uh, 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 Mercedes and a television and whatever, 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 you're going to look after him. These are the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, and Almighty God, point does not matter if they're Muslim or not they are human and has to be looked after if you feed him he absolutely respect your yourself and respect your religion it's very important you want to get the respect do this one don't think he's non-existent I talk to many of them say we look like non-existent nobody look at us it just pass just need to smile. Just say, hello, my friend. You don't need to pay him if you don't want to. You don't need to give him a food. If, but just say, hello, my friend. See, he, a smile come. He says, somebody care. That's a, that's a, 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 spirit, of the, a spirit of the neighborhood. Is when it Islam talk about the neighbor, they talk about the community, not just a next door neighbor or your family or whatever. Whole community. You have to love your community. If you see, for example, the job is available for people, doesn't matter, Muslim, Christian, other, uh, they 
they help them, you know, especially youth. Just say hello. If you say hello, oh, they say, hey, cool man, cool man, go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool man, yeah, 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 all right, man, that's, that's good. He make his day. He say, oh, I saw a sheikh, for example, oh, I saw somebody, I don't know what, oh, he says, cool man, uh, that was nice. <laughs> and, and slowly, 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 we so integrate and become brothers. Yeah, we don't have many uh, friendly sheikh like you. I mean, you would have been Mela, different. Mela, bless you. I'm, I'm, you had, I'm, I'm, I'm a servant of a community, if of course. James, you will say, you know. <laughs> we don't have many <laughs> smiling sheikh. Yeah. It's, it's smile is, it's smi it's, the smile is a beauty. Just a smile at that man. Instead of, instead of so for example, you drop him a pound, he says, drop him a pound. That's, that's absolutely, absolutely disgraceful if you drop, you know, pound for him. Uh, just a smile mm. for him. Uh, Throw in a smile at his face, he smile at your face, and he makes his day. You believe me, he makes his day for you. That's good enough. James, if I ask you uh, the importance of having a good neighbors, mm -hmm. if you could point out a few points, why they're important and <coughs> how it helps, what's the strength if you have good neighbors? I think a lot of what... Because um, Sheikh said a lot of things from saying. the Quran and Hadith, so if, because that's why I wanted you to yeah. bring out your article of faith. If you yeah, specific. I mean, um, I'm a follower of of Jesus, obviously the prophet Isa, and that, you know he talks a lot about being a neighbor, being a, a, a good neighbor, and what that means. But he also talks about loving our enemies. And so, like we're saying, we we don't get to choose often who <coughs> our neighbors are. So we'd like to think, like say, they're sort of the ones with the nice cars who are very polite and so say you've got nice no choice would love me anyhow. <laughs> oh, exactly. I know it's, it's, no it's a struggle, but you know, <laughs> I do my best. Um, <laughs> But yeah, and so that's the thing. We, we don't get to choose. Mm -hmm. we're, we're told that um, the people that we come into, so at one point, you know, Jesus asked, so well, who is my neighbor? And he tells the story of the Good Samaritan, you know, and it's the person in the story that, that helps isn't someone that, that should be expected to help. It, it was someone from a foreign land. It was someone that ordinarily would have been his enemy. And, and so that, that's what I take. It's, um, that's how we need to live our life. It's, it's the people that come into our lives, whether they have more than us or less than us, whether they uh, speak the same language, whatever. I, I, don't, I don't get to choose that. I am just, uh, I see that it's my role to, to, to care for people, to, um, just to get to know people. You know, and, and this is some of the, some of the issues that we were talking about before. Yeah. That's, that's what starts to break down the barriers. It's like we are, um, in, in Genesis, it talks about how we are all created in God's image. We may all look different. We may all have different uh, beliefs. But it's that side that yes, when, when I look Can at... Can I come back to you on yeah. that after the break? Okay. <coughs> the viewers stay with us. I think it's really interesting. And you can call us as well. There's a number there. You can call us. And I'll see you after the break. Don't go anywhere. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Oh, 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 oh,